to us. And this is an interesting story. Uh, this is a bizarre story. And I'm going to put up the picture of, if you're watching this on YouTube, which most of you probably are, I'm going to put this up. Uh, this is the headline as it appeared in, in, in the, in, in the, on the BBC website. And it's quite obviously there. Uh, let's just read it there. You can see it there. Badgers. Ministers willfully ignoring science advice. Now, I saw that. That's what it looks like. It's not a, a bloke called Badgers. I'm trying to wait, figure out when the fuck, what did Badgers start actively criticising politicians, particularly on a stance in science, and particularly this one, because this is a very hypocritical. I'm not saying that this Badger, I'm not saying that these Badgers, whoever they are, Badgers against Crusades, the you know the Badger Defence League. I don't whoever they fucking are. You know, science, from what I understand, has for many, 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 many years been very, very clear on the fact that it is a proven fact, it's scientific fact, that badgers cannot talk. Let alone get involved actively in politics and start criticizing human politicians on their alleged willful ignorance regarding science. You know, these fuck. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not having a go at the badger, right? They're, 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 they're going to voice their opinion. I'm amazed he got on the BBC. I don't know who his agent is, right? But it, 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 you can't have a frigging political opinion if you can't vote. Then, yes, they have rights that are granted, things like, you know, we, we, you know, we massacre them every year. But it says, a, you know, it, it says a lot, I think, in a way, about how far ahead we are in the UK when it comes to science as a nation compared to the Yanks, who are still up there, you know, discussing whether the moon is made of cardboard. We've got badgers criticising our own politicians. That's how advanced we've got. You know, this is what happens, you know, they do say this, you know, we've been told this very, for a long time by people who are scared about equality and, you know, <clears throat> treating everyone fairly and gay rights and these people's rights and these people and you can't say this and you can't say that. You're running out of fucking words you used to say when you were a kid and you can't say them anymore. So you have to check them on your iPhone app. But, you know, and they do say that, you know, oh, you let the gays get married, you're going to have to let, you know, animals get married to people and, you know, you're going to have to let, you know, paedophiles marry the ghosts of children. And, you know, it seems this is the case because it now looks like we've got uppity, we've got uppity badgers who don't know their place, who seem to think they have the right to an opinion. This is multiculturalism running rampant. You know? And of course we like the badgers in this country, they're, they're the jewel of the animal kingdom, which consists mainly of badgers, um, daddy long legs at number two, and at number three are those annoying little fucking bastard buzzy things that go in your ear at, at, you know, at night time during the summer, like, and all night long, and you have a fit, you punch the fucking shit out of your head, you can't get them, and no matter what you do, you can't kill them, they always come back. It's like frigging Terminator. You napalm the fucking room. And you're forced to sleep with your head stuck in a concrete balaclava all night. Yeah, those things, or whatever they're fucking called. But yeah, but that's really your wildlife in the UK. Badgers rule Britannia. We love them. We are a, we are a badger nation. You know, in fact, I think this should be... Now, if they're going to get involved in politics, we should have anarcho-social social badgers, badgerists. Because I think badgers, badgers would naturally be very left-wing. Because, let's face it, the left-wing are preferable to the right if you're a badger, because all the fucking Tories and the right wing ever want to do with badgers is massacre them on a fucking year. Every year we have this fucking argument in this country of just the... These just... It's just these Tories are just going, we've got to go kill all the badgers now. We're off to Badger Fest. It's like, it's like some fucking Glastonbury festival. They just can't wait to get out there and massacre badgers. You know, it's very reminiscent of watching them walk off like watching a clan rally and the lynch mobs in America chasing black people around for sport. You know? Not, not, I mean, not like a uh, hundred years ago, I'm talking recently, you know. And they get all the black people, they lasso them with ropes and everyone's cheering and they make tree swings out of them. Yes, I'm comparing badger culling by the, by the conservatives, I'm comparing it to lynching black people uh, by the KKK. I mean, they don't have lynchings, the KKK they don't have lynchings anymore in the US, they're a bit more sophisticated. Now, if you want to kill a black person, you just have to get a paranoid uh, neighbourhood watchman who can't? Who doesn't? You know, who doesn't know what the difference is between a pack of skittles and a gun is? And it shouldn't be surprising. The American military don't know the difference between a British soldier and a member of the fucking Taliban. So I don't know why this is a problem. But uh, yes. Anyway, uh, badgers. Yes, naturally left wing. And the problem with the left wing is we are crap at protesting because we are we are forced by some pretentious desire to make ourselves seem superior. We, you know, at, like. All of us, we go on our protest as smelly left-wing, pale-skinned cardigan activists, and 
we, we have to be peaceful. We have to find some way. We're, oh, we're not going to sit. I'm just going to sit here and eat a mung bean in a protest of the Iraq. Or we'll sit there and go, I am tying myself to this tree to protest the big expansion of the M4. And doing so, I'm not going to. I've been peaceful. And in doing so, I've delayed the building of this motorway by at least 25 minutes till the police cut me out. Or imagine badgers. The badgers are the most fucking violent, hideous, you know, bars. They are death machines. They look very cuddly. They're very much like Britain. They look very, they're very small. They're not very, they're very, sort of, they don't look very threatening. And they've got, they've got a certain dignity and a certain, they carry themselves in a certain way. But the fact is, these are vicious, monstrous killing machines. They are just genocidal instruments of death. They've got, Plut- they've got 19 sets of razor sharp teeth made of plutonium, bite into you, like, hack your leg off, no problem. They, you know, they fart Zyklon B out of their ass. And, you know, and they can use voodoo mind control to pull your head through your cock hole. I mean, they're just vicious. I saw a badger once picking his teeth out with a femur bone. They're, they're just, they're, they're hot. You know, there's never been a film made about them. I don't know why. They'd be a terrifying, you know. And imagine that. Imagine a load of smelly left-wing, you know, anarchists descending into London, each one of them with their left-wing socialist badger on a stick you know obviously on a stick maybe some in a backpack if you're a bit devil may care one on one like hanging from a balloon we could have them different way right, one on a unicycle going up to you know parliament just standing there with an army of badgers saying send boris johnson out now with his knob hanging out we have a list of demands and a fuckload of tuberculosis and... <sighs> yeah i mean you know, and because the, the, the reason the right hate badgers is because obviously you know, they've got a naturally occurring black and white markings, which, you know, is just, to them, it just represents some sort of, you know, it's, 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 it's promoting the idea that diversity and people of different ethnicities and uh, multiracial and multicultural society can get on well together. You know, a UKIP, member of UKIP looks at a badger and he sees, you know, multiculturalism, political correctness and Islam. And that's what he sees. But they are Britain. We are, you know, that's so we love badgers. And, uh... What the fuck was I talking about originally? Oh yes, so, but yes, but this kind of badger, this BBC badger, this corporate badger, who's sitting there talking about politicians. Right? I don't like this. I don't want a scientific spokes badger talking out. You know, he's got the. You know, he can have his opinion if he wants, but eventually he's going to sell out. He's an Uncle Tom badger. So fuck him. I, I just, I'm just want to put that idea out there for a while because I really hope that it can plant the seeds and I just, I want to see a badger at a, it would just be great. Anyway, 